you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jam exam post tme exam or any other chemistry related exam how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says which of the following separation techniques is most likely to yield high quality ethanol in brackets greater than 95 percent from palm wine now this question is extremely very easy we have to understand properly what this question is talking about before we go ahead to analyze the option that is the best answer to this question now let's solve together now if you observe they are asking which of the following separation techniques you can see here we have different separation techniques so which of them is most likely to yield high quality ethanol and they specified the percentage now what this means is now let me explain you can see that there is a symbol which is greater than and there is 95 percent now this thing means that the ethanol that will be gotten should be 95 percent and above pure do you understand so the purity of ethanol to be separated from palm wine should be extremely pure so they are asking us which of these separation techniques is best to provide ethanol to be pure in terms of having its percentage purity to be above 95 percent so it is extremely very easy first of all we have to know that palm wine is gotten from the sap of palm trees and another thing we must know about palm wine is understanding the you know the components of palm wine it will help us analyze this question together because we already know that palm wine is an alcoholic beverage it is a traditional alcoholic beverage and it is made up of different components like the likes of the fresh sap you know we have yeast there is um sugar there is another which is water yes there is nutrients in forms of vitamins so these are very very key important components of palm wine and lastly as written in the question ethanol ethanol is an alcohol when it comes to organic chemistry so you can see that all of these written here are the components of what of palm wine so the point here is this now if you observe now this must be noted it must be noted here that all these components are extremely important to actually form palm wine but it must be noted here that water it's actually a very very key component of palm wine so we have to take note of water so listen carefully as we analyze this question together so going back to the question the question says which of the following separation techniques will most likely yield high you know quality of what ethanol from palm wine you can see that ethanol is part of palm wine water is part of palm wine all of these are part of palm wine as earlier said water is one very key aspect looking at the composition of palm wine water forms a higher volume of what palm wine i believe you know what i'm talking about so on this let's go over to option a option a is fractional distillation without a dehydrant now first of all we have to know something very very important now this must be noted now you know we have different types of distillation you can see that most of the options here carries distillation now we have to know that anytime we see distillation the principle to which these separation techniques work be it simple distillation or fractional distillation we have to know that distillation works on the principle which deals with the difference in boiling point of liquids forming a mixture so you can see that the question is asking for how can we extract ethanol from palm wine and all these are components of what palm wine but we have to bring out water because water forms a higher percentage of what palm wine so both of them are liquids are you following me now and both of them now 
they have their respective boiling point. Please listen carefully. And I said that distillation has to do with the separation of what liquids based on their boiling point difference. Do you understand? So this must be noted. We'll get back to that. So moving further, option A said, let's just try to eliminate each of the options and know the best option to actually uh, separate ethanol that ethanol will actually yield higher percentage of purity because that's what this above 95 percent means so fractional distillation without a dehydrant anytime you hear dehydrant it has to do with a substance that removes water do you understand so on this remember distillation works on the principle of difference in boiling point of liquids in a mixture forming a mixture so without the dehydrant do you think that if there is no dehydrant in that particular separation technique because anytime you hear about dehydrant it has to do with you know removal of water because both of them forms the palm wine we are trying to separate you know separate them individually to actually have formed them individually and their percentage to which you will be formed will be high as stated by the question so if there is no dehydrant removal water will not be so much effective do you understand so this can never be the answer option a can never be the answer to the question because there is no dehydrant we have to have a dehydrant are you following me so this must be noted now option b is simple distillation with a dehydrant wow actually i've said that uh distillation basically has to do with the different uh, separation of liquids both of them are liquids with different boiling point but and there is a dehydrant yes but this is not still the best when it comes to the effectiveness of separation of liquids, you know, together, we're trying to separate them based on their difference in boiling point. The best is actually fractional distillation. Fractional distillation is better than simple distillation. In fractional distillation, there is a, 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 a component, you know, called the fractionating column. And in simple distillation, there is no fractionating column. So actually, fractional distillation is better off than using simple distillation. And now, option C has fractional distillation. Wow, it is separate them well and yield, you know, and there is a dehydrant. That means all the water found in the, you know, the palm wine will be what now extracted by that dehydrant, making sure that 95% of ethanol is produced so the answer to this question goes to option c okay not option b or option a option a option b can't be the answer to the question going over to option d which is chromatography it can never even work on this process because chromatography has to do with the difference in rate of migration of liquids so here did you see any rate of migration of liquid and also there's another thing you must know about chromatography it has to do with the separation of colors as well do you understand did you see any form of color in this question no they don't mention anything like that so chromatography can never work here do you understand it can never yield high percent of ethanol it can't work in this process so this is out already so the best answer to this question goes to option c which is fractional distillation with a dehydrant now this must be noted here is a simple trick to actually you know solve questions like this to know if the separation technique should be fractional distillation or simple distillation now listen carefully remember we said that both of them be it fractional or simple has to do with the separation of liquids forming a mixture based on their difference in boiling point so we have to know the boiling point now for instance the boiling point of ethanol was given it is simple see it is very easy I believe you watching me now know that the boiling point of water is what 100 degrees celsius whereas the boiling point of ethanol if you don't know it know it now the boiling point of ethanol is 78.37 you know degrees celsius this must be noted as well so both the uh, uh, distillation be simple or fractional has to do with the separation of liquids based on the difference in their boiling point and now if we if the uh, uh the separation technique to be used is simple distillation there is how there is a method we actually know if it's actually simple or fractional for simple it has to it has to do with the separation of you know of liquids in which the 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 difference in the boiling point of the substances should be above 25 this is a very simple trick to know questions under this aspect whereby for fractional distillation this is how you know as well for fractional distillation the boiling point difference between the, uh, the liquid should be lesser than 25 degrees celsius 
should be lesser but this one for simple should be greater like doing the mathematics whereby we uh minus 78.37 percent from 100 percent let's what we'll get so 100 minus 78.37 that is wow that is 21.63 you can see that the difference in their boiling point was lesser than 25 degrees Celsius. So this is a confirmation that the best method to separate this set of substance should be, you know, should be fractional distillation. And as Elia said, fractional distillation works more effectively than simple distillation. And for a greater purity of ethanol to be formed, there must be a dehydrant to actually extract, remove water from the palm wine. Are you following me? So this must be noted. So we've come to the end of this video lesson. If you find my video lesson helpful, do well to click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share these videos with your friends. Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.